Okay, hello everybody. Um, welcome to your last project for chemistry. Um, we are going to be working on this project for the next three weeks, uh, which will mean that this is your final thing. Um, so I'm going to talk about a couple things introducing this project and then kind of explain what you're going to do. So the premise of the project is that um, you are going to learn a real world application for water quality. So this week we looked at concentration of solutions or last week we did um, and we've been kind of talking about different chemicals and all sorts of stuff this year. So now we're going to apply that to water quality and the real life application of analyzing some data um, to try to determine what caused a fish kill in the town of Riverwood. Um, now the fish kill is kind of what it sounds. They have a river and a lake there and most of the fish died. Um, and so we have to figure out what happened in this town um, to the water to figure out why the fish died. Um, the timeline for this, like I mentioned, this is the last thing we are doing for chemistry. So um, you have three weeks to finish this. You will have a certain assignment due each week. Um, and as long as you're keeping up with that weekly assignment, you are fine. If you want to work ahead and finish all three assignments this week, go for it. Um, I do not care. I will grade them on a rolling basis as they come in. Um, but they, uh, you can get all of your chemistry for the rest of the year done this week if you would like. Um, if you are not keeping up with those weekly assignments, so if you try to wait the three weeks and turn everything in at the last minute, you run the risk of being marked absent um, in these next couple weeks. So keep up those weekly assignments and you will be fine for these last couple weeks. The final project for this is a presentation, which is a summative. And there's a um, template for what you're doing, what you're putting on each slide, and then you will turn that into me. You will also have four formatives. So there's two formatives in the first week and then one in each of the following two weeks. Um, and then the last week you'll also have your summative project. Now you will notice that the summative project is due on the Wednesday of the last week and that is so that I have a little bit of time to get them graded. Um, so if you can get it done that Wednesday, good, and I'll have your grade to you by Friday. If you can't and you need a little extra time, just shoot me an email. Um, I will still be doing weekly updates um, each week to kind of remind you what's due and let you know kind of the plan for the week. Um, but this is our plan for the last three weeks. So get going, finish strong, and you got this.